Hello friends, welcome to the Viva Boss of Anatomy. Today we will see the lateral compartment of a leg. Now the lateral compartment of a leg is bounded anteriorly by the anterior intermuscular septum, posteriorly by the posterior intermuscular uh, muscular septum, medially by a shaft of the fibula and the laterally by the deep fascia of a leg. Now the content of the peroneal or a lateral compartment of a leg are these two muscles, the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis, the nerve, superficial peroneal nerve and the artery is a peroneal branch of a posterior uh, tibial artery. The peroneal retinaculum are a thick two bands, the modification of the deep fissure that lies on the lateral part of the leg in the lower part. The first one is a superior peroneal retinaculum. The attachment of the superior peroneal retinaculum anteriorly to the back of the lateral malleolus and the posteriorly it is attached to the lateral surface of the calcaneum. The second re peroneal retinaculum is the inferior peroneal retina, peroneal retinaculum. So the uh, uh, superiorly it is attached to the anterior part of a superior surface of a calcaneum and the inferiorly it is again attached to the lateral surface of a calcaneum. Right. Now the nerve, main nerve of the peroneal or the lateral compartment of the nerve, uh, leg is a superficial common uh, superficial peroneal nerve. Now it is a terminal branch of a common peroneal nerve. It begins at the lateral side of the neck of the fibula. First it passes be between the two muscles of a lateral compartment that is a peroneus longus superficial and the peroneus deep, let, uh, deep muscle. Then it passes into the groove between the peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus and at the junction of the upper two third and the lower one third of the leg it pierces the deep fascia and soon becomes the superficial and divided into the medial and the lateral cutaneous branch which run over the dorsum of the foot. So this is about the superficial peroneal nerve. Now we see the muscle of a lateral compartment. The superficial muscle is a peroneus longus and the deep muscle is a peroneus brevis. First we see the peroneus longus muscle. The origin is from the upper two third and the posterior half of a middle one third of lateral surface of a shaft of fibula. Now this peroneus longus muscle, its tendon passes back to the groove on the lateral condyle or lateral malleolus of a fibula. Then it passes below. Here it passes laterally through the nose of the cuboid and the below through the groove of a cuboid and it is going medially to be inserted on the antero inferior angle of a medial cuneiform bone and the adjoining part of a base of a first metatarsal bone. So it will make a sling through the middle of a sole, okay, deeply. Now deep to the peroneus longus muscle is a peroneus brevis muscle, the, this one. The peroneus brevis will arise from the anterior half of a middle two third and the lower one third of a lateral surface of a shaft of the fibula. The peroneus brevis muscle will passes above the peroneal trochlea of a calcaneum, okay, and it will insert it on the base of a dorsal surface of a fifth metatarsal bone. So this is the origin insertion of a two peroneus muscle. The nerve supply, of course, it is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve. The main action of the peroneus muscle is they are the chief inverter of a foot and they will maintain the longitudinal arch of the foot also. Now, the one important uh, feature of a superficial peroneal nerve is that it is called a musculocutaneous nerve of a lower limb as it supplied the first the muscle and then it will become the cutaneous. So it is all about the uh, lateral compartment of a leg. Thank you. If you like this video, like it and share with your friends. And to get the regular update on the anatomy videos, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon.